I'm Tom, today I'm going to show you how to use the stock plugins in Logic Pro 10 to make two classic Thundercat sounds. The auto wah and the pitch shifter. A couple of points before we start. The gear that Thundercat does use to get this sound, according to an article I found in Mixdown Magazine, is a Pigtronics bass envelope filter, although that pedal is now discontinued, and a Digitech whammy pedal with the octave up. And it's run into an Aguila amp. Now, if you watch his performance from the Tiny Desk concert, you can see the whammy pedal, but I assume that that green pedal is a Boss PH3 phase shifter. Now, with the Logic plugins, I've tried to keep it as easy for you to create the sound, but bear in mind that the bass you play and how aggressively you play it will affect the sound massively, so you'll probably need to tweak the effects a bit. I'll go through the philosophy of why I use the pedals I have, and hopefully that helps you out as well. Also, I got as close as I could, and I think the result I got is a fun replication for you to try yourselves, but bear in mind it's not a perfect recreation. If you want more content like this, do consider subscribing. All right, so let's dive in. So my pure DI sound sounds like this. And with the effects. So for the pedal board, I ran a compressor with like 50% compress compression and a fast attack. And I've run that into the auto funk uh, effect. And I've used a low pass filter, I've, I've kept it up and I've used this high selecting selection here. Now the sensitivity is based on how low the sound is before it starts picking up that wire effect. And just minor toggles to the sensitivity and the cutoff can majorly affect uh, the sound. So uh, I've got it kind of really, really low. So that means every single time any sound comes in, it starts making that wah effect. Uh, and then this, this cutoff, I've got a 24%, um, but I found that even shifting that to like 30%, 35% made a massive difference. And once it got beyond like 50%, I wasn't getting any effect at all. And the whammy pedal, um, which is and it's the same red color as the Digitex, so I assume it's a replication of that. Um, I have got the tuning here to 12. And just to go back to this auto, well, yeah, I have 24%. And this, I have the tune here to 12, which means it's going up an octave, so it's 12 semitones. And the mix here, I have it at 35%. I've also got the pedal all the way up. Yeah, cool, yeah. And what I did, um, just to make it easy for you at home, I have got the preset here, main squeeze. I went through lots of different um, amp presets, and that was the one which I found had the best uh, sound. So my pure DI sound sounds like this. And with the effects. With the pitch shifter effect, which I use for the, the track Lava Lamp, here's what it sounds like. Yeah, and now with the effects and the amp. Okay, so the effects I have, once again, I have a compressor there just to kind of get the, the levels balanced. The Once again, I have the pedal set to an octave up, so that's 12 semitones, and the mix here is 20%, and you gotta kind of toggle that on to have it all the way down. Uh, and I also brought, did a bit of EQ here as well. Um, so, because of the, the notes sound quite trebly, I've had to kind of boost a little bit here around um, 3200 hertz <laughs> and with the amp once again I went I cycled through all the amps and this preset which is called punchy I found was the 
it just kind of sounds quite quite trebly um, and it kind of brings out those notes uh, a lot clearer on the high end so you can hear those the notes in the in the chords here's what it sounds like <laughs> the effects and the amp thanks for watching do subscribe if you want more content like this and yeah that's it